knowledge of uh, ventilation. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Today I'm going to talk about uh, another mode of ventilation, which is uh, by BAP or by level positive airway pressure ventilation. It is a two level of uh, CBAP. One is high, and the second one is low. It is a CBAP continuous positive airway pressure, which is uh, set at high level, and another one at low level. It is not a beep, but it is a CBAP. We have discussed we have discussed what's meant by CBAP. We're going to repeat it again. This uh, BIBAP has different names among different uh, machines. By Levin, Bennett, by Bab and Riga, by Bent and Siemens, uh, Dubab and Hamilton, something like that. But all of them, they have the same idea, high level of uh, CBAB and low level of CBAB. But uh, they have some differences in their, in their devices or design. The main function of this uh, one is that you set a, a low CBAP, a lower CBAP, and a higher CBAP. And this higher CBAP, which maintains for some time, you set it this duration, this time. And uh, there is, uh, and the difference between these two is the driving pressure between the lower and the higher, and this is, uh, will be responsible for the delivery of certain tidal volume. And according to the uh, compliance and the resistance, this will be the, uh, the, 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 the high, this is the, this will the, 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 the decide the tidal volume and at the same time, this is a level is very sad. This is a very important one. The second one, since it is a CBAP, high CBAP and low CBAP, so the patient can take his breath at the higher level and also at the liver at the lower level. When you go up with the lower CBAP, and the high CBAP is the same, so this means that the driving pressure will, will, will decrease and accordingly the tidal volume for the patient will decrease. But keeping in mind this is a higher CBAP, the patient will take uh, his press high at the higher level and will take his spontaneous breathing at the lower level without triggering, no triggering here. They add something else, they said, and instead of this being a bland one, which is high CBAP or low CBAP, we can add pressure support and this pressure support can be added uh, either to the lower CBAP or to the higher CBAP or in another way we will see that it differs from machine to the other this is a lower one which can be added if it is higher than the higher CBAP can be added the difference can be added to the higher CBAP so this is another another way to make it a little bit more complicated instead of being two CBAP one high and one low this is, uh, we added pressure support, which can be added to the high or to the low. Another important point that this mode of ventilation, uh, if the patient is uh, apneic or the patient is paralyzed, I mean, in this case, uh, if you set a rate here, yeah, this will be started uh, not by triggering, but will be started by the time. So if you set uh, the high, the high CBAB for some time, and the frequency say of 15, this will be repeated 15 times, so the rate will be 15, and the difference between the low and the high will be responsible for the delivery of the tidal volume. So this will be can be used to a patient uh, who is apneic, who is paralyzed. So this is a, a very important point. If the patient starts to take his breath, uh, he can take his his breath either high or low, and uh, simply the patient will be assisted and it's just at the same time he is taking his his spontaneous breathing the synchronization of the patient they made some sort of synchronization when the patient starts to take his breath if it is uh, concomitant with this he will be triggering this uh, high CPAP and go up at the same time when the patient starts to uh, to to take uh, his expirations so this can this uh, uh, ex this uh, wave can be ended and uh, there's some sort of synchronization with the patient through this uh, high technology. Again, the, uh, some of the ventilators uh, can use this uh, high CBAP if there is no, uh, if there is no pressure support, uh, the high CBAP, the, the ventilator itself can assist by 1.5 centimeter pressure support at high level. Let's come and see, discuss with the different modes. This is the Draeger. 
this is uh, uh, the trigger when you look at this this is uh, the B the high CBAP B and spiratory and this is the time this is the time for the high CBAP this 1.5 and when you look to the other one, he writes here, beep, no, it is the lower CBAP. And this lower CBAP, there's no time, but he put here the frequency. If you say that the frequency is 12, 60 by 12, this means about 5. 1.5 for the inspiratory, and the rest 3.5 for, for B for the expiratory. So this is an indirect way to put the time. So he, he put here the high CBAP, and the time for the high CBAP, and then you put the frequency and then the low CBAP. So by this way, easy to, to calculate how much will be the time for the expiratory to be 3.5. And at the same time, he bought here the rising time. How fast you go to this uh, high CBAP, this is the rising time. And at the same time, he bought here pressure support. Pressure support, eight above the uh, lower CBAP. This gets, uh, he, 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 he says uh, beep. So this is uh, will be, this will be about 12. So the, you will uh, 13. This uh, mean that uh, the pressure support will go up to 13, 13 centimeter water, and this is the rising time. What about the uh, expiratory sensitivity? The termination of the pressure support. This is fixed here in this uh, uh, machine. Also, when you come to this, that's it. This is a higher inspiratory time. This is a higher CBAP, and this is a lower CBAP. This is uh, the frequency, and accordingly, you have the. This is the time. This is the flow time curve, and this is the pressure support. No pressure support. It didn't put, put pressure support, and so this is rising time for the for for this uh, bypass. Same thing when you look at it. This is the rising time as I mentioned before. This is the pressure support. This is the 18 over 6 over 6. So this is the uh, uh, the 23. This is the pressure support will be 23. But here, this is the high, this is uh, 12, 20, and this is the low, CBAM, this is uh, uh, 6. This is the time for the high, this is the frequency. From this, you can calculate how much will be the expiratory time. So this is the uh, formula which is given by the Reagan. Look at this. Same thing, you look. This is the frequency, 15. This is the expiratory time. This is the high. This is the pressure support. This is the lower CBAM. This is the RAM rising time. This is the rising time. Also, he didn't mention the expiry sensitivity for this. This is the trigger. This is the fire too. So this is a very simple one. This is the time for the high, the how much is the high, the time for the high, the time for the low, respiratory rate, uh, and the pressure support for if there is uh, some sort of uh, uh, pressure support uh, uh, ventilation wave. Look at this. This is also the trigger. When you look at this, uh, this is the... Uh, this is a high inspiratory time, this is 15, it's like that. And this is inspiratory time, one second, this is, that's it. And uh, when you look at uh, the lower CBAP is 5, and this is a pressure support is 20, above the above 5, 25, this is the spontaneous one. This is a pressure support. The rising time here is, uh, look at uh, 0.2 seconds here, the rising time is 0.2 seconds for this, for this mandatory. And the rising time is 0.2 seconds for pressure support. The time for this, uh, we calculated one, one, one second. But the time for this depends on the, uh, the flow. That would be percent of the flow. He didn't put here the percent of the flow. Usually, if it is fixed, it is 25% of the big flow. 25% of the big flow, this is the, uh, uh, the pressure support. This is, uh, that's it. And at the same time, this is the triggering value. And this is around and uh, this is uh, the uh, how to set uh, the by valve in this one look at this this is usually the same this is any spatter of time how much is the value it is uh, 15 this is a uh, 15 this is a uh, high cbab low cbab is 5 and when you look at this this is vicious support is 7 over 5 it is uh, 12 so this that's it if you look at this is a vicious support is uh, here 12 the base this is the driving pressure is uh, 7 and this is the driving ratio is uh, 15, is uh, 10, 15 minus 5, this is 10, that's it. When you look at, this is the driving ratio. This is the flow for the uh, spontaneous, for the ratio support, and this is the flow for the uh, uh, the BiPAP. So that's it. And this is the triggering value, and this is the auction uh, FIU2. What, what happened here? 
here with this is uh, the inner spatter time it was one second here we increase it into two seconds look at this increase to two seconds and the brush is the same 15 and this is a uh, 15 centimeter of water this is this uh, lower sea level is five and this is 20 20 plus five this is 25 that's it this is 25 for the brush support and the ram for this is same is uh, 0.2 seconds uh, this is the ram 0.2 seconds, the RAM, 0.2 seconds, uh, and this in spare time, in spare time depends on the uh, flow, 25% from the 25% from the big flow, and this is terminated, this is a pressure support, and this is uh, the uh, uh, the pipette. So this is, uh, it is a simple way to understand it and how to use it. Another event, little like by vent. Yeah, this is seeming, they said, no, this is the high level you set at, 15, and this is a low level, you set at uh, 5. And what uh, the time for the high level, he said here, two, ma 2 seconds. And the time for the lower one is 2 seconds. So the, the duty cycle, the total cycle will be 4 seconds. 60 by 4, this means the respiratory rate is 15. So this is another way. This is the same the same like the others. But uh, everyone chooses uh, which of which. And this is concentration. And this is the rising time. The rising time to go up for the high. The rising time to go for up uh, for the uh, the the uh, pressure. This is a pressure support. You have to put it. If you didn't put it, this is just a uh, by bab without pressure support. You put the pressure support. This is the pressure support above the beep. Beep in this case, he'll be five. This is the uh, any spiratory cycle for that, and this is the flow triggering. So this is the pressure support, and this is any spiratory cycle 30, 20, 25. You do like that for for it. This is the pressure uh, support above the beep pressure support be high and this pressure support above the beam so this is the uh, the same thing like the others but it differs here you put the put be high uh, and the time below the the time and after that you can hear in this case uh, when you put uh, the the pressure the pressure support and the pressure support is not like the other it was one no this is high this is uh, this row this is a pressure support for the high and this is a pressure support for the low not like the other one. The other ones, they, they bought only just one pressure support above the beam. But this uh, pressure support above the high, and this pressure support above the... So we have two pressure supports, which, does not, which do not max. This is a very important one. So the pressure be high, it's a time, and the pressure support. Below the, the CBAB, the lower CBAB, it's a time, and the pressure support for the for the CBAB, for the lower CBAB. So this is, uh, and this is the respite, this is the time, this is the uh, uh, inspiratory cycle of, so this is the difference between uh, uh, this uh, uh, in Siemens and the others. When luck come to the Bennett, when you look at the Bennett, also the same thing. This is, uh, he bought the frequency, this frequency, when you look at this, this 15, 60 over 15, this means that the duty cycle will be four seconds. Four seconds in here, when you have this, uh, he bought uh, the V high, the high CBAB 22, the lower CBAB 5. What is the time? Here, this, this is the time for the lower. The time for the lower is 3, and 3 from uh, 4. So this means that uh, the time for the high will be 1 second. So this is uh, also this is just simple calculations. So this is the uh, time for the low. This means that the time since the rate is 15, this is due to time is 4. This is uh, 3 for the lower, which is the expiratory, if we can say. This is uh, will be 1 for the inspiratory. And then come to the, this is the rising time. Rising time, so it will be fast, so if it is 100%, it is be less uh, when you go down, it go when you go less. At the same time, come to the pressure support. This is the pressure support, 24, 24 plus 5, it will be 9, and 29, that's it. 29, that's it, uh, this is the red one. And we look at, this is the, uh, the, the triggering. And the expiratory sensitivity here, the expiratory sensitivity for that, for the pressure support. Well, this is usually closed by time, but after one second here, and but this closes after when the when the frequency, when the flow the, decreases to 25% of the peak flow. So this is uh, the 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 Bennett how to use the Bennett Ohio to understand the setting the value of the Bennett. The Bennett another important point when he puts this pressure support. He puts, he puts the pressure support in just only one pressure support. When you look at this, is the lower CBAB is 5, and he put pressure support at 20, 20 plus uh, 25, so the maximum here is 25. 
So the ceiling for the Bishop support will, will be 25 centimeter water. When he look at the, the high level, high, high peep, the high peep here, he set it here as 15. 15 plus 5 is 20. When you look at this, this is uh, uh, 25. This is the difference between uh, uh, 15, uh, uh, between this uh, 25 and uh, the, uh, this is uh, 25 and uh, the uh, uh, 15. This is a 15. Although this is uh, 15, the B high is 15, not plus 5. This is the B high is 15. And this is uh, the bishop support is 20 plus the uh, lower CBAB is 25. So this is 15 minus 25, it will be 10. So if the bishop uh, uh, took uh, uh, any aspirations uh, at the high CBAB, he will be assisted by a pressure of 10 centimeters. This means that will be the ceiling. This is obviously the ceiling. The, the pressure will not exceed this one. If the bishop triggered here, or if the patient started to take his inspiration here, he will be assisted by 10 centimeter water. So this is the difference between the uh, previous one and this one of uh, Bennett. So the Bennett, this is a vicious support. Say if this vicious support is uh, smaller like that, this is 10. 10 plus 5 it will be 15. And so if the patient he, uh, t uh, is taking his inspiration at high levels, uh, he will not be assisted by any because this level is lower than the, than the, the, than the set high CPAP. So this is uh, uh, to be considered while we are discussing the Bennett bypass. What is the uh, how the patient uh, uh, react with the ventilator? This is uh, it's very important. Look at this. This is uh, the workload. Workload. This is uh, uh, this one is considered as mandatory. If the patient is not taking his inspiration for this is the the, the driving pressure between this lower CBAB and higher CBAB, and the inspiratory time will be responsible for. The level of the total volume. This is uh, will be the mandatory one. Uh, but if the patient is taking an inspiration here, so this is uh, this is uh, the right. This is the driving version in addition to the work done by the patients. Uh, and so this is the driving pressure will be that of the of the patient support blast that of the patient. If the patient is taking his inspiration here, this is another one. This is the patient is the, this is a driving pressures in addition to another driving pressure here done by the patient as higher CBAB. So this is will be added as a workload for the patient. When you look to the flow, so there's a difference between the lower CBAB and the higher CBAB. In addition to the resistance and compliance, well, this will determine the flow, which uh, will go up to this. And in addition to this, also the rising time, this will, will, will define how much the flow to go to the preset the, uh, uh, pressure. So this is a, the flow will, will be a little bit variable. In addition to this, this is a CBAB. The patient can take his pressure up there. So this uh, there will be a change in the pressure and in the flow according to the respiration of the drive of the patient. Same thing for the pressure support. This is uh, the difference between uh, the high pressure and low pressure. And this is uh, what will, will result in the formation of the flow. And this can be changed by the drive of the patient. So this is another. So the, the, the flow will be changing according to the drive of the patients, but if the patient is not taking this, will be fixed flow uh, due to the, uh, uh, which is determined by compliance and resistance. The volume for sure, the volume here is determined in this mandatory wave by the uh, difference between the lower CBAB and the higher CBAB and the resistance compliance of the patients and the inspiratory time. And this is also, this is a ratio support uh, that is determined by uh, the difference by the driving pressures uh, between the uh, lower CBAB and the pressure support, and in addition to this resistance compliance, in addition to the driving pressure of the patients. So this will be variable, and also this is, uh, will be variable because the patient will take his inspiration here. If this is not taking the patient's his, his inspiration in the high CBAB, and there is no change in the, in the resistance compliance for sure, the volume will be the same. An inspiratory time, this is a mandatory, this is an inspiratory time, time will be one second for the patient, so one or two. This is according to the preset uh, and it's a high inspiratory time and uh, or high time for the healthy bath or the patient uh, might break it uh, and take an inspiration here. So the, the inspiratory time will well, the differs and depends on the, on the patient uh, derived and patient inspirations. And here, the uh, inspiratory time for sure will depend uh, on the difference uh, on the uh, on the uh, on the expiratory sensitivity, uh, how much you uh, close this in, uh, in inspirations by 20 or 25 or percent of the big flow. So this is will be determined by this rel the relation between the flow 
and weak flow and uh, the set expired to sensitivity. Oxygen for sure will depend on the difference uh, of the lower CBAP and uh, the uh, uh, FiO2 and uh, the deceleration of the flow. So this is the advantage of BiPAP. It's very important that uh, you can use it uh, as a weaning, uh, 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 weaning mode of ventilation uh, where you can put uh, the patient, uh, uh, by the way, on this uh, uh, high level and low level. And uh, if the patient's uh, condition is good, can go down by this uh, low level till it is uh, the, you are keeping the patient only on the lower CVAP and uh, you win the patient from the lower CVAP. So this is a very important point uh, in the uh, in weaning. So this is uh, unloading the patient. This is total and partial for this is mandatory and this is a uh, support. Flow is variable for sure. The volume is variable sure. The next part of this may be set for the mandatory and variable for the patient support. Thank you.